Hey guys, what's up? It's Mark Five Snipes here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to make a space uh, space program satellite. We're going to make the Mark Five Space Program satellite. It's going to be awful, but it's going to be necessary because I need to get my uh, confidence back. So I'm going to be sending a robotically controlled um, rocket up after with the loss of Jebediah Kerman who is the last one I want to lose, but obviously not going to happen because, hey, I'm not the best at this game. So there's going to be many more deaths, and, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. So let's quickly have a look at the mission brief and see what we're going to do. Mission M5SP03. Commission a satellite for the science program and place it in the low orbit of Kerbin, where it will reside permanently to collect meteorological data. Status incomplete. Well, that's a piece of piss, so... First things first, we need to get our command module, but we're going to use robots today, so let's go with hmm, this one, because we're going to send up a massive rocket just to ensure that it gets up there nice and fast and do our first stage two, not stage two, class two is it, what do they call it, when it's a bigger class, or is it? Mark, yeah, the Mark 1, 2 type thing going on. Ah, who gives a fuck about the specifics? So, let's put on a big orange Roco Lopped Maxi Thingo Wopsie. Make sure that's in the right place. Alright. Um, oh, actually, I need to control from the satellite. So, I need to use a satellite body. So, let's go with the... Hmm... Let's go with this one. The, actually, is that bigger? Which one's bigger? No, they're both the same size, that's fine. And this is really small, yeah. Okay, we'll use this. This is the satellite body, so I think we'll have to build the satellite first, actually. So let's zoom in on our Octo module. Um, I like to put a great old massive radar dish on if I can find it, there it is. I love I love putting these on because they just they make it look so much cooler. So let's just plonk that in the middle there. And we'll activate that when we need to. Um, it needs some nice big uh, solar panels, so <laughs> maybe not that big. Those things are huge. Let's put on. Mm, yeah, let's put a few one point one by sixes on. All right, um, just like that. They centered, more or less. That's good. Okay. There's our solar panels to power everything, and we also will put. A big old battery on this thing. How big is that? That'll do. And what else do we need on this thing? I mean, it doesn't need much. Uh, let's put on an accelerometer. Let's put that over here. And we'll put on a negative gravioli detector. Hallel, hallel, hell, hallel, hell, hell. And. We don't need two of these next guys because we just don't want two of them. So we'll put on a barometer because we obviously need to be able to measure barometers. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what the freaking past plural thing is. So boring. It's not meteorology shit. And then we've got a temp temperature gauge. So we'll just plonk that sideways like that. All right. So this has got all the guff and gear it needs to send us some meteorological data back to Kerbin. So we'll plonk on an antenna. <clears throat> to receive and communicate, even though we already have one, but why not have both? Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Nice. All right, well, there's our, there's our satellite. So let's name the mission real quick. M5 SP03. And we'll save it. So this is the satellite. You know, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, so let's get on with it. We need to add some decouplers because we're going to let this thing go. Let's use, use the proper size one. And then we'll convert that to the correct size. And then we'll correct that to the correct size. Just like that. So we're sending up this tiny little rocket. Tiny little satellite with the biggest fucking badass rocket you've ever seen. Just cuz. Right, so we're going to put a massive old engine on this thing and we'll put on some smaller smaller ones to do the fuel p compositing thing whatever the fuck it's called I don't even know don't even ask me about science I don't understand anything because I'm silly 
Let's plonk these on. Just to hold it in place. Good, that's not going anywhere. And uh, right, now we need to do the the external ones. So let's plonk. Let's go six actually. Let's go let's go six of them. Because we've got a big tank, we can afford to put six on. So we'll put on six of these guys. Uh-huh. Let's go a bit lower. That's better. And we'll put six of these on. Right. Now, getting somewhere. Put a few more of these on. Uh, actually, I want to do that. Okay. And we need to... Now we need to do the fuel thing. Yes, the fuel thing. How do we go about that again? I've forgotten. Uh, fuck being efficient on these. Let's just grab the fuel transfer cable playable table. Now, I... If I can remember correctly, it is actually, in fact, possible to change these without removing them all. So, we need to find the decouplers. Here they are. So, we've got this one here. That's a oh, shit. We just, want, we just want one of them at a time, please. So, we'll grab this one. We'll put that down to four. And we'll grab this one. Uh, no, we won't grab this one, apparently. Which one are we grabbing? This one. Okay, so that's the two of them. And then we need to grab one of these guys. Okay, no, that's fine. So we're not grabbing this one. But we are grabbing this one and dragging it down here. Because if I'm not mistaken, that should be those two. Yes, good, good, good! And the last one is this one here. Okay, hang on, guys, just let me put that in there. Alright, so those are perfectly done. Now we need to hook them up correctly. So the first ones to go... We need the, the last ones to go. Where's the last ones? There's the last ones. Okay. So we'll hook those up. Ooh, yeah, that's that's disappointing. Yes, indeed. I have to do it manually, it appears. Oh, well. So we're going here to here. And then we're going second tank. Second tank, yep. So we're going here to here. And then we're going here to here. Cool. Alright, now we're doing this one again. So, last tank. Here to here. Here to here. And here to here. Right, well there's an extremely ugly and, well, efficient rocket. But, you know, it's going to go straight up and it's going to get there in one try because we ain't shitty. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? This is probably going to fail so much. Just prepare yourselves. Uh, more, more importantly, whoever is piloting this thing, the guy at Houston, it is a robot controlled one, so if anything goes wrong, I don't have to feel bad. No memorial f sequence for this satellite, because, you know, it only costs 1.3 of the budget. Okay, so those are all hooked up. Now we've got to sequence it all correctly. Let's just plonk a few of these guys on. And drag the module down a little bit, just because it's a little bit high. Yeah, volume down to you too. Okay, so grab these, plonk them down here, grab our main engine, decouple, 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 and yeah, then that should leave the main booster, and then when that's run out, we can just drop that off, and that should release our satellite. Okay, I think we're good, we've got a battery, what else do we need? Is there anything else I've forgotten? Because I think we're ready to go. Ooh, get that jazz beat going. Mm, yeah. Boom, boom. Ba -dum, boom. Okay, let's do it. Save, launch. Let's get in space! Let's get in space! The difference with this one is it will not be returning back to Kerbin. This is going to be leaving it out in orbit. And maybe we'll add in a mission later on to go up and service the satellite if something goes wrong. Or just for the fun. So let's see how this rocket goes. I have mixed feelings, but... Oh, you know what it's lacking? You know what it's lacking? Come on, what is it lacking? Did I hear someone say SAS? Yes, I did. This thing has no way of going straight. So we'll add that in. And we also put, forgot to put in RCS, so... Let's grab some of that shit. Put that on there. And a few RCS thrusters. Right. Apparently it wants to put six on. 
I don't want to do six, thank you. I just want to do four. And four down the bottom as well, if possible. Uh, maybe six, just to, for good measure. Okay, now we're ready to set off. Let's launch. Okie doke, 12 minutes into the building sequence. Always making rookie mistakes like that. That's what it's like to be in Mark V. Three, two, one, fire! Are we going dead straight? I only want to see dead straight flight. It looks nice. It's going good. It's a pretty odd rocket. It's a small one, but it is taking up very precious cargo. Look at this thing. Delicious. Okay. Uh, what do we need to do? First of all, we have to drop off our first stage already because they are just emptied so quite, so quickly. It's crazy. Do we even have enough power to get out of here? I don't even know. This is going to be weird. Add a maneuver in. Whoop. We'll do the orbital turn a bit later because I don't think we've got much fuel. <laughs> I'm really worried that this isn't actually going to get very far. Uh, we're going up pretty fast at least, so maybe we will be okay. Who knows? This is the awesome satellite, which we are going to get into space. Going on a mission. Turn on the RCS for a bit? Nah, no need. No need! Plump. Okay, we're almost at 10k height, and when we get there, we will commence the orbital turn. Uh, we've well and truly missed this maneuver, so let's plonk a new one in. Just like a dat. Uh, here we go, let's commence our turn. And hopefully... Very hopefully. Shit won't fuck up. Let's just get to a nice even plane here. And keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. We've got to get to that turning point there. Okay. Alright, look at this rocket. Look at that. That is a cool looking machine. Seriously. It's got the old uh, actual space shuttle look going without the space shuttle. And the added elevators and fins for just the shits and giggles, right? All right, let's do a close-up as we drop off these SRBs. Well, they're not really SRBs, but they look like them. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we're just going to use the main tank and, well, blast our little satellite into orbit. If all goes to plan, that is. Um, let's do a physics warp, just because this is going to take a while. I might even do a speed-up of the footage because... The process of launching us into a high orbit is looking to be difficult here. Having some, let's just change this a little bit. Get some height going. Increase the speed and height, and it will be good. So I'll come back in about three or four minutes when this is finished. Okay, guys, we're back, and we have got the well, not quite into orbit. We've got a very high apoapsis because this satellite is going to sit pretty high. I might actually decrease that though because I was only planning on having 200 but it's gone to 300 because I'm uh, stupid. So we're going to zoom around to our apoapsis and do a reverse burn and then we'll do a positive burn to increase the... Uh... Well actually what we really should do is boost positively on the apoapsis and then when we get to the periapsis we can boost negatively and bring the apoapsis back in uh, if we boost retrograde so that'll be fine. But we're just waiting on the warp because for some reason it's... There we go, there's the proper warp. Warp speed. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, warp speed. Okay, let's get to the prograde marker. And boost! And swing our orbit round to at least a periapsis of 200. Well, actually at max of 200 because I don't want it to be too high. Because most satellites don't orbit that high. So... Just, woo, whoa, girl, that's a bit of a long way. That's a bit of a long way. Okay, back around to the periaps, just like that. And we're going to boost retrograde to fix our orbit. Because this is going to be up here for a long time. So I want to make sure the orbit's nice. Right, let's just decrease this all the way down to 200. Oh, there we go. And we've somehow gone to... Oh, shit. Well, that fucked up. Uh, let's swing around again. <laughs> okay, after a lot of asking about, I am now in a stable circular orbit above Kerbin. So it's now time to drop our precious cargo. 
So what I'm going to do here is I don't really want to have the space debris in my way. So what I'm going to attempt to do is point the rocket like so. And we're going to deorbit the rocket without deorbiting the spacecraft. So let's just put that like that. Maybe a bit more like this. Okay. And we're going to drop. We're going to boost. Oh shit. Actually, we can't do that because that'll change the fucking orbit. Damn it! Alright, whatever. Let's just get rid of it. We off? Looks like we're off. Okay. Let's do a quick zoom. Let the space debris go on its own. And let's set this thing up. So we need to extend both of our solar arrays. Extend the communitron. And the other communitrons. And there it is. Our satellite is in a successful circular orbit above Oh, what's with the strut things on the end here? That's really annoying. But oh well. So there it is. There is our absolutely awesome, awesome little satellite. Let's see if we, what we can do with this thing. Can we swing it around? Yeah, we've got all sorts of control over this thing. So we can go, woo! Just like that and point it at the sun. So there you go. We're going to leave this little uh, tank floating beside it. God knows what's going to happen with it. It looks like it's going on its own way. So... There it is. It's in orbit. So, that's a successful mission today. We have got our first science satellite in orbit. And our next mission, hopefully, will be something a little more intense than getting a satellite into orbit. And maybe we'll have the courage, now that we've had a successful mission, to bring our Kerbin back out. And bring some Kerbals back out into space. Thank you for watching Kerbal Space Graham Cracker Episode 4. And I'll catch you guys later on Episode 5, where we attempt to take our first Kerbal to the moon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 to the moon, let's stop recording, oh.